Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Gideon. Gideon definitely was the planeswalker I was most high on if you watched the planeswalker video. Gideon, ally of Zendikar. Gideon is a very powerful card. I like his plus one ability. So if you view Gideon as just a four drop, five five with indestructibility that exposes himself uh, later in the game. But then like he has loyalty four. So it's like, mm, I don't know. That's a pretty high loyalty for this type of planeswalker. But if you look at it as that type of card, then he seems pretty good. Like, I'm not going to lie and say Gideon does his plus O. His O ability is not as good as I originally believed it would be just because allies were not present. Now, is it better than something like Sorin? Sorin sees a ton of play. He's one of my favorite cards. And honestly, I would play Sorin with Gideon. But he has to go down negative 2 to make a 2-2 flying vampire. Gideon actually just stays the same and he can continue to generate 2-2 knight allies. And that's incredible. And most importantly, Gideon is probably the only planeswalker I can say about this. You can negative 4 him. So if you had two Gideons, you can negative 4 if you had another Gideon in hand. So he's not dead in hand. Which is very, very important. Remember, a lot of Planeswalkers, when you have multiple copies in your hand, you can't play them again because it will just knock out your other Planeswalker. So Gideon is a very unique Planeswalker and the fact that you can play him, you can plus him, and then you can do whatever you want and you can immediately minus four him if you have another one in your hand, get the plus one, plus one emblem and play another one. Overall, this card is just bonkers good. I obviously would want a playset. He is, in my opinion, the best card in the set. He is better than the other two Planeswalkers. And he should find a home. White is typically very weak. So when I've gone over the white cards, I was like, oh, wow, white is... Uh, for the last eight sets, I've always been... I love white because I love Falia. I love uh, bears. I love hate bears. I love that type of deck. White has been the weakest color in the last eight sets. Brim Ash was supposed to help it, it didn't. Um, there's very little, I mean, green has been, green used to be the weakest color, but then green has dominated it over white. So now white is by far the weakest color, and that's, uh, that's pretty weak in my opinion that they did that to white, but whatever. Anyway, Gideon should find a home, I feel like, but it's got to be a home that uh, he kind of, has to do a lot of. I like that Abzin can kind of slot him in if Abzin's already playing Sorin, and this card, in my opinion, is better than Sorin, then Abzin can probably, this card will find a home in Abzin. It does have to compete against Rhino for that spot, and you're never ever going to damn protect one of these over a Rhino. Anyway, very good card. I like it a lot. There's not very much I need to say about the card. It is, in my opinion, the best card in Battle for Zendikar.